practice uh, which is very important from the Anchor game development point of view so that we will see so and apart from that we will just go to the uh, go through the other component which is called as field group component which is also very handy component uh, yeah so let's start with that best practice piece which I just mentioned so here if you see uh, whenever we drag and drop any uh, component the uncock like gives like the property ID so here in it is like text field which is like pre pre default or like pre populated by uncock right but yeah this is not something uh, will re keep I mean will remain as it is so we will manage this like we will just change that property according to our uh, field label so let's suppose our uh, field name is first name right so this is a label right so there can be different fields in our application or maybe in our module which is having that similar kind of a label right but whenever we write the property id inside any module so that property id should be unique and it should be something like we should be able to recognize what is that property id about from the name itself so here if i have given first name so here i can't keep it as test field i can't keep this as test field one because we saw right whenever we uh, open that angular command in that command we will define the values of this property by this property id right so in the angular command we can see that the key is text field one and whatever the value we will enter as a first name that would be the value of that key so from the property name itself that thing should be recognized so here we will write that name such like first name so in the angular command we will kick we will get to know like this is something first name property this is the property id of a component which is used to capture the first name yeah so here if you see it is now correct so let me just go here refresh this yeah so if i write here some first name as ravi and if i again if i hit that angular command that we saw okay let it load okay now if i hit the angular command now here in it in this we will see first name as ravi and this thing we can take use and like store it everywhere or maybe if you want to manipulate we can get hold of this and use it so our property id name should be some also one more thing is whenever we write the property id let's suppose again like we want to capture here first name okay yeah this wouldn't be happening in any form but yeah might be so basically what I'm trying to say is like we can't keep the similar property ID here so if I am giving the first name as property ID for the first component which is of text field so if I use the same one we'll get an error here like please enter a unique property ID so within a module the property ID should be unique so I need to make it something different from the already existing property ID so this will not work and this will not allow us to save that so if I write something other than this it will like it will be a unique for all this module point of view and it will ask I mean it will allow us to save that value okay so this is what I have I mean, wanted to cover here and apart from that one of the most important thing from the property ID perspective is like whenever we write the property ID we need to write it in a camel case so if camel case is like if there are two words here it is the first is the first word and name is something the second word so there are two words that we have written in this manner so the first word should be all in the small letters and the next word so the next words first letter should be capital so this is a first name so if we, if you just see that in google also it is camel case so this is something very generic term uh, that is used in programming so camel case so you will see here right what is camel case so here if you see what is camel case or pascal case it will like show you what is that 
right so here if you see this first waiter is uh, first letter is camel and the second water later is like something case and it is starting with a capital letter so this is, this is called as camel case because in the uncock certification whenever you, you will appear whenever if you write here the normal one right first name so from the operation point of view it will work fine okay but this is very important it should be in camel case or else even though your application is working fine you won't pass in that certification so this is very important right you should maintain this camel case thing in each and every component that you use it should be a camel case so that was one thing about using this uh, property ids or giving this property ids in uncorp which is very important concept in uncorp